What is good? Back to Danny's Gunner number one, two, seven. Just got my food. Food right here. Includes a deli made sub. It was made fresh. Not too bad there. And then four navel oranges. And then four black plums. And then just some ground pork. Ground pork is extremely cheap. Uh, so that's why I would go with it. But if I really want to dissect it, I'm sure that pork was fed with corn. So corn's not really the best thing to digest. Really? But that's okay. I'm not dissecting. Let's not dissect stuff too much to a micro level. Let's just keep it all macro in the grand scheme of things. Still staying healthy. Still eating. So that's good right there. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, the reason I was saying Neil deGrasse Tyson, Laformation with uh, having don't ex what was it? Why did I just say the last segment about the universe? Oh. <laughs> I wonder what causes... Let's, let's go into this topic. I wonder what causes the short-term memory within a manner, matter of literally like 20, 30 minutes ago when I said that, when I filmed that, those thoughts saying, affirmation for today. Don't expect... Ah, I'm botching though. I know it's something along the lines of don't... Don't expect the universe, or don't expect to understand the universe. Ah, something along those lines. Anyways, why, why does it forget that? Is that it's got to be a whole host of a different, uh, a whole array of different reasons why, probably. You could look at nutrition, you could look at what's been on your mind as of late, taking up a mental bandwidth, your mental storage capacity. Being it, just kind of the actions you're doing while you film this, being crossing the street and running and making sure, looking both ways for traffic. <laughs> That's probably it too. If I was filming this right now, sitting down in the present, am I really in the present while I'm feeling this? I'm somewhat in the present, but I'm also, my attention is going to different things such as the surrounding, which would be what I just crossed right there. Not sure if you can hear the Caribbean music playing right now in the background. Bahama Breeze, it's a restaurant, I live right next to it. I'm not sure if you can hear though when I have my headphones in and the headphones are plugged in my phone, which is allowing to pick up my uh, audio better for me. But, huh, I'm not sure. Oh. Interesting. I was just uh, observing somebody's car and the car um, converting for them to roll their wheelchair, the powered wheelchair into. So just, just interesting to see. Lots of lots of people are definitely out tonight, Friday night. A bit busy, so it's not even the crowded part of Orlando. So it's always good to see though. People enjoying themselves. People not taking themselves too seriously not to have fun. It's always good to do. Me though. Me though. I definitely like to have fun, that's for sure. I definitely like to get crazy. Yes. Um, I guess for me though, I'm always focused on like doing the really unique stuff. I really want to do some some stuff that people don't get to do as much or is really, really rare. Rare to see. Rare to experience, rare to hear about. That's what I really want to do. Right now I'm just kind of putting my time in. Putting my time in to make that opportunity happen. I'm just being patient. Same time, gotta take action. I gotta keep reminding myself that. It's something I struggle with. Gotta continue to take action. It segues into tomorrow's schedule. I'm gonna deposit my rent check for tomorrow. I said that last last week it didn't do it. I'm gonna do that. I gotta do that. Come on now. Come on, Alex. Not that hard to do. And then I'm going to go to the post office. I said I was going to do that last week. Didn't do it. Come on, Alex. Not that hard to do. What am I repeating myself here? <laughs> then I'm going to cancel and then rebook a flight for an interview for a cruise ship job. Because I'd really like to at least proceed with that. I feel like with me, going back to like the present and stuff, I'm always just looking for future stuff. And that can maybe even backfire too because I'm not enjoying uh, going with 
what I have currently. But again, that could also be stemming with that I just I just want bigger and better things for myself. I don't want to just be locked down even for like a year somewhere. I want that constant growth, constant um, evolving or constant stimulus, new stimulus rather than just the same environment. I think that big part for me is the environment. Stay in the same environment for a long period of time, just um, at least for how I operate. It doesn't, at least the past couple years, it doesn't really work too well for me, I, I would say, from personal growth. It's interesting to kind of think about natural human behaviors versus human response. So when you say things like, oh, that makes sense why that person does it, because it's only human nature, well, the fact is you're really, you really not making that decision or that particular decision or action based off it being nature, human nature to you. It's more along the lines of you're in an environment, and whatever environment you're in, no matter where it be, you're in a constant bombardment of different influence and scenery and stimulus and people, but let's just all call it scenery or influence. Let's just all call it influence. And that influence is going to dictate how you carry yourself, how you interact with other people, your own self, what you do essentially. The environment is a huge part of that. So it really comes down to human behavior. So we're all Every one of us experiences different day-to-day, week-to-week, month-to-month, year-to-year experiences, but it's uh, what separates what separates one person from the next is how they respond and go about that encounter with that experience and where they go from there anyways i'm gonna go to the apartment eat some food call it a night for the most part watch a documentary or two go to bed wake up early do it all again didn't go to the jump the gym once this week that's okay like i said earlier in a video transitional phase right now definitely like to be fit and active. I am definitely active. I'm, I'm on my feet all day, essentially. Whether it's at work, whether it's going to work, transportating myself, being walking, uh, jog sprints, skateboarding. I'm constantly walking every single day. Like I said before, I put the miles in. If I had a step counter, I'd easily surpass. Uh, I'm trying to think how many steps. When I was in Perth, Australia with my friend, we spent like literally three or four uh, four or five days straight in Perth, Australia. And all we had for transportation up until we were waiting to get a, a van to travel across the western part of Australia was just our feet. And occasionally the free bus system, we could ride throughout a certain designated portion of the, the uh, downtown area. I'm trying to remember, I can't, man, my memory is shot right now. I'm trying to remember what they call, like in Australia, the CBD, so the Central Business District. It's a kind of common term. It's probably an English term. They don't really call it downtown. They call it CBD, acronym for Central Business District. Anyways, that's kind of where the buses ran, but that's also where our hostel was at. But to get back to what I was really saying, it kind of forced us being in that environment three, three or four days, just constantly walking and put the steps in. I don't remember how many steps we... He had a step counter, so I remember after each night, before we went to bed, he would, he would say, yep, this is how many steps we did. Just kind of give you an idea. Definitely put in the, the miles or the kilometers in. And uh, I think it's good. I definitely feel good posture-wise. Hips don't feel tight at all. Back don't feel, doesn't feel tight at all. My one left hip, and I think it's due to how I'm sleeping, is a bit tight. I, like, I just need to... I need the right angle. I need to find the right angle to uh, be able to. Uh, and I know I know stretches to do. I just don't do it. But to uh, release some tension there by um, 
if they're getting a, by popping it or you know, when I say popping it, I put, obviously put it in a position stretching wise and it causes that release of the tension and it causes that sound of the popping to happen but uh, that would be nice anyways I definitely uh, I definitely do like enjoy walking around and stuff like that definitely have to say I, I, I guess I don't, I don't miss driving by any means <laughs> driving I think one thing I'd like to get into is biking be cool I'm just uh, waiting on the to have uh, the resources to get a, a bike that I would really like to have so eventually for me it's a patient game and eventually what I really need to change about myself is being able to just go about and capitalize and just reach out and grab things and just conquer it that's what I really need to do just looking at the back of this uh, car stickers wall this dog is just chilling and looking at me. If you don't believe, take a look right there. That dog is intertwined with me, looking back, looking eye to eye with him. He's about to bark there for a second, but he decided not to. <laughs> not sure if there's another person in the car besides that dog, but what ifs? They heard me, so be it. All right, I think I've talked enough <laughs> as it's. About 12 minutes now into the video, so I'm going to cut it off there. This has been a daily channel number 127. Pleasure as always. Peace, love, unity, and respect. Emphasize the word unity. After, we are. After all, we're all intertwined and we're all on this spaceship together, which must mean that we need to respect and go about as friendly and cooperative passengers on the SSS SSS what do you call oh man I'm, I'm, I'm asking all these questions what do you call this I can't remember that man my memory is really out of it can you call uh, boats the SS yeah the SS called the SS earth boat all right daily one daily Z one two seven in the books the mental clarity is just not there with the speech and thoughts. But this is why we do this daily Xander practice. Keep me accountable and continually work on speaking. Even though it's as simple as just pulling on my phone and filming my thoughts. It is a practice. And it is holding me accountable to doing that. Which will correlate in the future for me being a more evolved and well-read individual. So on that note, I bid you adieu. Catch you in the next installment. Pleasure as always. Peace.